Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're beginning our first power generation setup. And I hope you guys are ready for that. Ah, it's so nice to see the moon out at night. Ah, oh, man. Well, we have a lot more to go over today. Um, it does seem like we're kind of getting, I think we're close to the middle. I don't know. I don't know if we're close to the middle of the pack. It seems like we're getting close to the middle section of the quest line. Um, and it says, take a long way home. And it says, researching the stars. So I think we're like in the middle somewhat, somewhere. We're fixing to get into power stuff. So um, I think we're fixing to unlock redstone. So we're getting somewhere. But uh, let's go ahead and read on and see what things we need to do. So I know we need to make some rubber. We'll worry about that here in a little bit. But uh, alloying MK2. So it says, I found another way to make alloys. It needs dust, though. But I worry about that later. Um, and it says, because I also found finally a way to make some red dust, which I have been, which or which might have been the capability to create power in it. OK, um, this is a two by two by two multi block that I have been or that I have in mind should also be able to make that redstone. Okay, um, all that I need in order to make it should be in the Exoria core. Okay, so I think we have all the stuff to make this. Um, and then we also have a quest for better fuel. So it says, before I can make power, I probably need better fuel. Like some sort of coal coke. I found some heat proof material in the cavern dimension. Okay, so we're going to get into immersive. Immersive engineering. So we have uh, has some cool stuff to kind of get into. Um, but the immersive engineering, let's go ahead and take a look at what we need here. So we're going to need a kiln. So here's the kiln. Um, it requires that uh, ortho stone, um, desecrated stone, and magma block. Okay, I think we have all of that. So this stone is actually found... It may be found in the core. Looks like it's found in both the core and the Exoria underground. I found it in the underground, like really low to the bottom. Um, and then up here we have our desecrated stone and our magma block. And we really don't need much of this, to be honest. Like, we need, I think it's eight blocks we need. Okay, so now that we have the kiln blocks or kiln brick, I mean, we can set this up, but we're still missing a few things needed um, that it doesn't tell us here. So now that I have that made, let's go ahead and work on making this, which is the Coke brick oven. Um, and we should have everything for that. So let's look at the Coke brick. Coke brick requires Kamenite bricks, seared brick, which we're gonna have to make some of that. Shouldn't be too hard. We have all the materials. Um, and then we need this uh, Siniscata brick, which is the Sinus clay, which this stuff's not very easy to find. Um, I really have not, out of all this material I found in the underground, this was one of the least uh, plentiful things. So I'm going to go ahead and cook that up. I really don't think it has a use outside of that, maybe for mortar. It's used as a clay, so I don't know. But uh, we are going to need some gravel. So I'm going to go ahead and get some gravel. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have sand laying around. Not much sand. Um, I, th and I, I, can, I can get some more sand. That's not an issue. And then clay, which we have tons of clay laying around as well. So let's go ahead and get this. We'll get all the seared brick we could ever want here in just a second. But I know we have tons of sand. So here's all the sand we can want. There's that. Uh, gravel. And then we have our clay. So that should get us a pretty good amount of seared brick. Right? Should be pretty good. There we go. Look at that. Two stacks. That's plenty. All right. So all that's cooking up. We're getting some of this stuff. 
and Kamenite is the only other thing that we need, and I'm pretty sure that is enough to get us. We only need 27, so that should be good. All right, so I have to wait for this stuff to cook up, and then I'll be back here in just a sec. All right, so most of the stuff should be ready to go now. Let's just go ahead and take all of this stuff out. I'm pretty sure that is plenty, plenty of materials. So let's go back to the uh, Coke brick. And we should have everything. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And we need 27. Ooh, we're slight. We're missing uh, some more of this brick. Oh, man. Well. That just means I have to go down and uh, actually find some. So yeah, this is kind of the only painful part. I thought I might have had, like, just barely enough. But yeah, going and finding some more of this brick is just, yeah. It's hard to find because it looks a lot like the ash. You sometimes just overlook it. You don't even pay attention. Um, and you just completely overlook the stuff, so... If you kind of take a look at what it looks like here, here is what the actual Sinus Clay looks like from Primal Core. You can see it's it's located here, but it's uh you know 62.62%. It's pretty low. Um but I mean you're gonna have a higher chance of finding it around the 80 mark, like 80s, 70s, and 80s. So that's where I've been kind of mining for it, but I mean, you just don't find very much, so I'm gonna keep looking and uh, hopefully I find some. So I figured trying out some of these caves down here might be a better way to find this stuff, and uh, yeah, it is. So uh, here it is. As you can see, it looks very similar to ash blocks. I mean, it's, it's really close, so... And uh, you don't get much, like this is really the vein of it. I mean, it's a pretty small vein. Um, and that's it, I mean, that's, that's all you get, so... Um, that's the second, or this is a third vein I think I found, um, of this material. Not much, but uh, I think it's time for me to head back. I think this is enough to kind of at least get us through um, and get us the uh, the oven made. So that is perfect. So I'm gonna head back and uh, hopefully meet you there with uh, with uh, us getting that last bit done. All right, so there's the last bit, and voila, there we go, seven. So we have our eight brick here. Our coke brick set up there, um, and then we have the two iron and string that we're going to need to make the hammer. So to be able to activate these things, of course, it's immersive engineering. We do need a hammer. I don't know if the hammer is listed here, is it? Um, I don't think it is. I don't, I don't see where anywhere where it tells you to use a hammer, but uh, you definitely need to use a hammer. Um, that's the only way to activate this thing. So to make the uh, the immersive engineering hammer It's always been like this and there we go And now we got the hama So we got the hammer. It's hammer time. Let's go ahead and figure out somewhere to put these guys um, I think temporarily like this is not going to be here forever and this is going to be all rearranged so This room is going to be a little bit more open But this setup is actually kind of small so what I'm going to do is just set up my coke, my uh, coke brick oven here. Just like this. And then there we go, there's the coke brick oven. And then this guy is not very big at all. Look at that, eight of those, and then bam, there's an alloy kiln. So we have the alloy kiln, and then we have this oven. Um, we really need to get some materials started up on that. So let's take a look over here. Um, I need coke. Or not coke, I need uh, coal. So let's grab some of this coal that we've been cooking for quite a while. And uh, I want to make the block of coal. And that's going to get us the most creosote oil, which creosote is what we're going to actually need later on. And uh, the good thing about this is... I mean, it's its own fuel, so you just throw it in there and just let it go. Man, the, it's, it's so crazy that the Coke oven has been a thing and has changed so much over the years. Like, this has been something that I'm pretty sure I've used in almost every single playthrough. It's kind of crazy to think about that. 
Almost every every single pack has immersive engineering in it. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and then the alloy kiln. This guy's a little bit different. Um, this one requires some sort of fuel, um, but it did say it uses dust. But I don't think that's the main purpose for it right now, because it's telling us that we can make redstone. So it says if I crush Magnarak um, on the crushing table and alloy it with some dust, I can create power. Guys, I can create power. That's what it's saying. Um, and then we also have this. It says, uh, Coke Coke allows me to make steel now. And it says, and with the Magnara uh, Magnarok, or Magnarak, I think it's what it's called, um, I can finally make a blast furnace out of some sort, or a blast furnace of some sort. Making steel should open a whole lot of possibilities. Ooh, I like hearing that. Um, blast brick. What does this require? Okay, so this requires this, which we can actually make more of it. It looks like, oh yeah, and it only requires four to eight dust. Cool, we can actually make a lot of this stuff then. Um, I'm pretty sure we ha we might have enough though to make this, and then we need a carbon brick. Ah, so we have to have coal coke before we can make this, and I think we need nine coal coke. So we're gonna need nine of these carbon bricks before we can make a blast furnace, because we we need twenty or twenty seven of these as well. So, and then magma brick. Um. That is the Magnarak, crushed down, gives you Magnum Brick. Okay, so this is something we can worry about here in a little bit. Uh, this is not that important. Um, we will get coke, uh, cold coke pretty fast this way. As you can see, this is already almost done with just one. We might need to automate the fluid. We'll do that probably here in a little bit, I don't know. Um, it's pretty easy to automate the fluid. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and worry about this other thing. So, redstone we can make. And then rubber. I actually want to worry about this before we make the redstone. So it says I can make a tree tap. It says with magical wood, um, I can get a special tree tap. Okay, and I'm able to get resin from trees. Um, smelting the resin allows me to get rubber, which is needed for the first energy source that I came up or that I came up with. Okay. So when they talk about the magical wood, they're talking about dream wood. And Dreamwood should be able to turn into planks normally. And then I think it's a tree tap is made like this. No? Let's take a look. It should be under listed underneath here, right here. Ah, it's the old build. It's the old uh, tree tap that was from uh, uh, IC2. Okay, so this is the tree tap. Kind of interesting. I'm, I'm kind of curious at how this is supposed to work. Um, but I'm guessing we just take a tree that's, let's say, out, out here. And we can click it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There's some resin. And now that we have no torches on us, let's just click a tree. Oh, wow. It's just bits out of rubber everywhere. Until the tree tap breaks. Is that all of it? So 26 resin to one tree tap, or one tree tap. That's not bad. Um, we can make a bunch of tree taps, and then this is used to make the rubber. Oh, we just smelt it. It's not bad at all. So we'll get that cooking. Uh, that shouldn't take very long, but we are going to need this done. That's kind of why I was working on it. There we go, and I'll throw the brick in here. Why not? With all of our other magical type mods. And then here's my wonderful trash can so I don't have to just open my menu every time. It says ruthlessly murdered items. I've, I've actually thrown away that many items, believe it or not. Um, a lot of junk basalt and stuff like that that I don't really have storage for right now. And there's our rubber. Pretty easy. All right, so now that we've gotten this done, um, it's, it's wanting us to make this guy, but uh, we need redstone first. So we need a crushed magma rack. Let's go ahead and grab this stuff. I think it's this. No, it's the uh, magma rack. Or is it the scoria stone? I think it's the scoria stone, right? No, this is used for redstone. It's this guy, magma rack. I was right. Um, and then we need to take our hammer, which I think is in my bag. 
Um, yes, the stone hammer. And then replacement stone. And I think that's enough sticks for the replacement hammer. So let's go ahead and get enough of that. I want to make another one just in case. Can never have enough of these. Um, I think, honestly, you can take a hopper. I think if we take a chest... Uh, where's our chest at? We'll just make a chest. Oh, we're missing the wood. I thought I had chests just laying around here. Maybe not. But oh, we might be able to use an item barrel. And a hopper. And can you hopper items into here? Like, can I put this here? It No. That doesn't seem to work. Man, I was hoping that would really work. Because that would have been perfect. Um, this thing retains items when you break it. I didn't know that. Okay. And that's going to continue over there. I'm going leave to that, leave that on its own. <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, so, the more we break this down, the more we'll end up. Uh, you can actually just hold your right, ma right mouse button down, and uh, it'll kind of do it for you. So you really don't have to worry about it too much. Um, and yeah, we'll just get a little bit of this. And just enough to get some redstone, because the next thing that we need to make doesn't really require that much redstone. It's more about rubber and carpet, and we'll kind of go over how that works here in a little bit. But it's kind of an interesting uh, mechanic for producing power. And uh, yeah, um, speaking of that, uh, I think we'll do it here in a minute. But uh, let's just, yeah, I'm going to get this guy out of here. I need to come over here and get some dust anyways. But he's going to pop out. There we go. And I'm going to grab a stack of dust. There we go. Or two stacks, whatever. And I, th I think we already have coal over here. So we should be able to mix these two together. And it's going to alloy them and make redstone. Look at that. Redstone, guys. That should complete the quest. Now... It opens up, I made power. All right, so it says, so now let's hope this idea works. Generating electrostatic energy with rubber and carpet should give me a tiny bit of energy. Um, this is my plan. Build an electrostatic generator, surrounded or uh, surround it with carpet and walk around it with rubber boots on. It's crazy, I know, but it might work. Yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be kind of interesting, um, to say the least, on how this thing is going to, going to work. Um, I've never used this before, but uh, I, have to, I have read the, uh, the curse page for it, um, and it is kind of funny. But let's go ahead and make some rubber boots. Look at that, rubber boots. Um, we should have quite a bit of string to be able to make some carpet, hopefully. Uh, that makes at least eight there's nine we only need eight and we can throw all this back in here so we already have some of the main stuff now electrostatic so this will require a block of redstone pretty simple um rubber and another furnace and stone and was it dawn stone it's bronze plates okay So a couple bronze plates is all we need. So that's done. Redstone block. Super fancy. A lovely furnace, which, uh, yeah. We're, I'm going to have to cook up some more stone here soon. Because we make a lot of furnaces, it seems like. At first, making a furnace was like a pain. But, yeah, now that we have all these furnaces, not so hard anymore. And then, we're missing just two regular stone. Okay. And, voila, electrostatic generator. So let's go ahead and place this electrostatic generator down. 
Let's put our boots on. And we're going to place carpet around it. And this has no power in it currently. But if we walk around, it generates power as we walk around it on the carpet. Is that crazy or what? Does it does it matter if we just So if we just like walk across it like this, it also works just as fine. I think that would be a better way of doing it. And can we pick this thing up and does it carry its power? It empties its power. But if you just walk across it like this, I think that generates it just as fast. You shouldn't have to walk around it like that. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay. So, with that knowledge in mind, let's take a look here. So, that's done. Now it's talking about charging. Um, but first we need to make this. So we haven't really done anything else, but I mean, we opened up the ability to charge things. Um, so let's take a look over here because uh, this is what we're working on next. Now that we have our first power source, um, this is going to build up creosote oil pretty fast. Now we have nine coke. This is only a few carbon. It's only three. As I said before, I think we need nine. So, and we already have quite a few buckets of that ready. Hmm. I know it's wanting us to make the wood. And that requires steel, and that requires steel. So all of these things are, are kind of in the way. So I guess while we wait, there is a few things that we could be doing. One being bees. If we take a look here, it says to be or not to be. And we never stepped into making bees, but I think this could actually help us later on. Um, so we need 23 bee houses. Pretty easy now that we have wood processor. And we need the machine controller, some slabs, um, output hatch. What is that? One uh, fluid output hatch, or one fluid input hatch, uh, one small output hatch, and one tiny item input hatch. Okay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get all these things up and running and uh, let's see what we can do with that. All right. So reading up on the quest, it says one of those books I read um, of a similar fairy subspecies um, looking similar to bees. They were very shy and uh, needed to be lure lured. Apparently they like seed oil, fairy dust and flowers. The book said that those bees are able to gather resources. So. This seems to be very useful for the future. So yes, it will be useful for the future. Um, it looks like I need a small item output. I thought I made an output. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. I made an item input, item output. What is this saying? A small item output? Oh, I have a tiny. I need a small. What's the small? I didn't actually catch that. Small item. Oh, it requires a regular chest. Oh, well. Kind of wasted that, didn't I? Um, I just need some wood. Throw some wood in here. Get a chest. And the last thing I need is a little bit of copper. Which I'm running really low on because we've used it quite a bit. And I need a s output, right? What is it needing? An output. So there we go. That should be the last thing. There it is. Okay, so I need seed oil. And I was looking at seed oil. And how do I get seed oil? And I noticed the crucible actually works. Um, so, crucible gives you a little bit of seed oil for just about every seed, it looks like. So just a tiny little bit, but you do get some. Um, so I'm going to make two of these, actually, and I'm going to show you why here in a little bit. 
So we're gonna set two of these up. I also want to get some stone. We're gonna need that for later. And we're gonna do this. Let's see. Stone barrel requires this slab, doesn't it? Of course it does. And I think my saw is in here. Let's go ahead and get that done. We're gonna just make a slab real quick. And I'm gonna make a regular stone barrel. Okay. So that should be just about everything we need. And uh, the rest of this is actually just finding a place to put this and setting it up. Huh, where would be a good place to put bees? I think right over here where we have our other multi-block structure uh, would be just fine. So let's set this up. I think I need a block to actually raise it up one. Seems like that's how this mod works. And it says sneak to freeze the current preview. I want to, okay. So yeah, it does seem to be flipped. I don't want it looking like that, but I think I, I kind of get a good idea of what this thing looks like. The controller here, I think you can put the flu you can put the inputs on either side. Okay. Um Yeah, it's not letting me change the view. That's okay. We'll place you here. For now. <laughs> it's so funny. You should be able to like let it go out of view. And it disappears. Okay. But it seems fairly straightforward, except for I'm gonna put the controller here. You know, these guys are actually really annoying. They, they just like like to get themselves stuck under stuff all the time. I don't understand. I did fix it in this area, but now they're doing it over here. So annoying. But yeah, this is just like this. I, I, I'm pretty sure if we take a look here as well on the blueprint, it's solid all the way across. Okay. It's completely solid. We're good to go. Okay. So I want my item output and item input on the front. On the side over here, I'll have the fluid input hatch. And then the, everything else will be surrounded like this. And there we go. We have one left over because I don't know just how many I had. And fill it in with this. And the last one should complete the structure. And voila. Throw the blueprint in there for safekeeping. And uh, yeah, it says that uh, in the thing, it says we need flowers around it. So that's what we're going to work on. Pretty sure I have flowers. I have a few flowers anyways. I don't know if these weird flowers actually work, but we're going to make them work. How about that? We're making things look good, right? Um, and then we need to set up the ability for us to extract seed oil. I think that's the next step, right? Seed oil. And seed oil should not be too difficult for us, but we do need some lava. So we're gonna need a couple buckets. I don't know if this stuff actually heats up like lava does. That is something I was wondering, but I'm gonna go grab some lava and be right back. All right, so I'm pretty sure I have everything needed to kind of get started with both of these things that I'm gonna be working on. Um, I think right here is gonna be a good place for the other setup I'm gonna be setting up. So we got lava here, lava here. And then we need some kind of placement block. There we go. Throw you down. Throw you down. There we go. And uh, yeah, I went ahead and made two more crucible inserters. Those guys are very helpful for these uh, type of things. So you don't have to just manually place blocks in there. It's just a pain to do that. And then I have my fluid extractors. Pretty nice. So fluid extracted to there. 
You're going to go up and insert. And this one's actually going to go into a stone barrel. So this is a little bit different. So we're going to put a stone barrel here. Uh, just like that. And then, yeah, we're just going to leave it like that for right now. Hook up that. And we're going to be at both of these a lever. Flip that on. Give this one a lever. Flip it on. There we go. And uh, all we need to do now is put seeds in here. Now, this gets fairy dust. That's one of the ingredients. Um, and then right here is where the seed oil goes into. And then we should get our output bees on this side. That's how it should work. So let's go see what seeds we have. We should have a plentiful amount of some sort of seeds. Um, let's see. Oh man, industrial hemp. We have tons of seeds for that. Look at this, we have so many seeds for industrial hemp. And I think that's because you just get so much from the industrial hemp. It's gonna be a good seed source. So I think I might make a farm like of just literally just industrial hemp. Um, so we'll just do 30, I'll do a stack here, a stack over here. You get 10 per, so that should be, this will be close to a whole bucket. This will, look at that, it should fill this whole thing up. And I'll explain, in, you know, soon what this actually does. Look at that. It just completely de went straight through that. Just demolished it. Wow. Okay, so this should be working, I think. Yes, it already worked. So we need some way to, to pull these items out. Um, I think a good method of that would be using an item extractor. I just think that's going to be the best way. Um, so using an item extractor with item pipe, uh, another Kamenite lever, why not? And we have a chest, so we can just keep filling this chest up. Here's a chest. And uh, yeah, we'll just put the item extractor here. Throw that guy there, put a lever on the front. And now our bees are gonna go in there and it's going to continue to do the process. As long as, I mean, as long as we're giving it seed oil and such. Should work. Right? I think. As long as we're giving it more fairy dust as well. So, it consumed the fairy dust. You can see it's processing. Looking pretty good to me. So, we have automated bees set up. Um, all we have to do is maintain our seeds. And then this right here, I'm actually going to get some more seeds. And I'm going to show you guys what this will actually do. So, what do we have more seeds of? I mean, we have all these seeds. Rice seeds is something that's pretty nice. Um, moon glow seeds. I don't think those are used for anything. The regular seeds here. We'll just dump all of this into here. There we go. Rice seeds. We'll dump those. All right, this is full. This is what I wanted. So let's take a look here. Let's get ourselves some logs. And we're gonna set this up. I'm gonna show you what, why I'm doing this. So we'll set the logs up just like that. We technically only need eight of them, um, but you gotta watch these because they do convert to the next tier um, pretty quickly, so. You have to make sure you harvest them pretty fast. But uh, if we take a look here. I think it's apiary. Uh, we're going to want an apiary. And as you can see, it requires an impregnated casing. Well, normally you'd make a carpenter, which I think at this point we could make a carpenter. But, it, I mean, it's going to be a little bit easier on us to do that. As you can see. I mean, we can make it, but I want to try this way first. All right, so all of our wood changed. So let's go ahead and uh, pick all this up. And as you can see, we got to do it pretty fast before it turns into dream wood. It's going to be kind of interesting on automating this later on, if we have to anyways. So setting this up. So we should be able to take this now and make a case out of it. Look at that. Um, it's kind of weird. What did this automatically revert? Had a weird recipe change like thing happen. It's kind of weird. But uh, you can take this wooden casing, throw it inside here, 
and uh, you get yourself an impregnated casing back. As weird as that may sound, that is what just happened. So uh, now we have impregnated casing, we can actually make an apiary. Um, not hard actually to make an apiary, to be honest. I also have an extra bee house. So let's go ahead and make an apiary. And then we have a couple bee houses we can also use to kind of push some things along as well. So we already have some flowers over here. Might as well throw these guys down here as well. Like this. But the apiaries, these guys can be automated, whereas these cannot. So what do we have in here? Is this not pulling out for some reason? I think these, these inventories act weird. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want it going in there. That could be an issue. I don't think it is that, though. I don't know. I don't have a Tinker's Hammer on me either. Um, but yeah, it going in here might quite possibly might be causing issues. Even though technically it shouldn't. I don't know. That's weird. So we have two Ash Queens and a Hot Queen. So the Ash Queens, all these can be breeded, but I want to see the Ash Queen supposedly makes some ash. So it's one way of doing it. Um, not bright enough. So it's currently nighttime, which makes sense. And it says no flowers. Um, are not finding the right flowers. Use the... Yeah, we can't use the Bealizer. And I don't know what kind of flowers this thing might want. It could want cactus, for all I know. Um, yes, yeah, so we, we might have to find some sort of bee that... Uh, and find out its characteristics, but right now we don't know. Um, everything else looks fine. It just needs... It's just not daytime. And... We're not finding the right stuff, so... That's okay. Oh, there's a whole other set. Fairy Queen. And a Wet Queen. Okay. This is not finding the right flowers, which is understandable. We're going to have to uh, definitely up our flower farm. Um, and then the other ones... are Hot Queen. Okay. Of course, not the right flowers. Um, I'm just kind of... Curious. Oh, this one's starting to work. Okay, so this one apparently has the right flowers. So maybe after a while this thing will drop some honeycombs and we can possibly see what flowers it needs. This thing's not working because it's not daytime. But I don't know what flowers. Oh, okay. Oh, well. We'll, uh, we'll move on. Um... But yeah, this, just know that this is actually working. And uh, yeah, we're getting the stuff we need. All right, so over here in the Coke oven, I just want to kind of get this automated real quick um, on our fluid production. So we can set all of these tanks up. Oh, I don't want to... I'm pretty sure you get it back, yeah. And... I don't think I can reach the top one. There we go. Um, so that should be quite a bit of fluid storage for later on. Uh, but we do need to set up the fluid extractor with our fluid pipe. And I don't think that's going to affect it any. You can't actually pipe fluids into here. So flip that on. Should drain it all out. And should start filling up down here. So yeah, it's weird that it's not showing any texture, which is a, a bug, definitely. It should show the creosote texture down there, but it's not. Kind of odd. Could be that it's set up on this multi-block, which is actually storing 64 buckets worth. But uh, now this thing will continue to run forever, uh, at least until this thing fills up and its internal backup fills up. 
So we have quite a bit to go. Look at that, the backup just getting right in my face. And uh, we now have almost enough to make our blast furnace. Our blast furnace is gonna go right here, by the way, right next to this guy. And uh, we're gonna get things going. Well guys, this has been a pretty interesting episode. We did get quite far today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys are watching on the day that this is posted, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.